So both boxers have been mightily impressive during the course of this run to the gold medal bout. Charlie Davison in her semi-final win over Sorrentino of Italy, despite her towering stature, was really busy on the inside. So we're underway then. Championship gold medal action here in the women's 51 kilogram flyweight tournament between boxers from Turkey and Great Britain. The taller boxer wearing blue who is immediately onto the front foot in this battle of South Paws is Charlie Davison, 27 years of age from Lowestoft. And her opponent, Buzanaz Kakaroglu, the number two ranked boxer in the world, comes in here as the reigning 2019 World Championship silver medalist. She's the more compact figure wearing red, both boxers operating out of the south poor stance, and both of them terrific punch pickers, Alex. And both good counter punchers, Ron. We've seen that throughout this competition. Both these girls <laughs> love to just sit back on the back foot and catch the counters on the way in. And because of that instinct to be counter punchers, both of them wait waiting, both of them fainting, and that caused the intervention of the referee, reminding them that they have to engage Certainly. and let them let her go. And as well, Ron, both these girls are pretty good attacking fighters as well. But as we can see here, both don't really want to employ that role. But I do have a feeling, Ron, that, that Davison will gradually start to force the action and get the combinations going because she can box in both modes, being aggressive and sitting back and using the counter punches. Looping roundhouse left catches Davison around. The side and rear of the head guard may have been with the inside of the glove from Kakaroglu. And again, the standing off and fainting continues. Right-left combination wasn't too far away from the woman in red. The left hand appeared to score. So both boxes operating behind low-held guard as the guards as they exchange lead-right jabs. Lead X jabs exchange once again before Kakaroglu brought the southpaw left into play. And just as we've seen her throughout the tournament. Alex, she is, be, she is content to just skim the ropes as she circumnavigates the perimeter of the ring using every ounce of space, just holding that elbow up yep. to keep her opponent at bay. No sharp elbows can provide a serious deterrent. Not legal, of course, but all part of a boxer's defensive armory. Well, as we've stated before, Karakoglu is predominantly a counterpuncher and she does love to draw her opponent on before trying to make them miss and then she'll make them pay almost automatically before slipping off and she's very very good at that but we've also seen Ron the fact that she can actually stand and mix it up a little bit as well if she has to it's not what she prefers to do but she certainly can do it so Davison remaining on the front foot now elects to just back up for a couple of steps to try and draw Kakaroglu forward this physical chess match reaches a conclusion of a very cagey opening round. Both boxers scoring particularly with that shot. But my goodness, two counter punches looking to draw the lead from their opponents. Three minutes in the book in this gold medal bout. Well, pretty difficult running score for the judges there. And again, depending on what you like, Ron. Davison forced the action that little bit more, but it's Karakoglu that takes the round. So, the first four judges. Yep, a 4 1 split in favour of Busanaz Kakaroglu. Davison taking it for judge five. So into the second round we go then. First round was scored in favour of the woman in red. The tournament number one seed, world ranked number two. And that's Buzanaz Kakaroglu. Davison comes in here without a ranking despite her obvious considerable talent. And that's because in the grand scheme of things she hasn't been around that long as she continues to peck away with that lead right hand. Was an outstanding youth boxer coming away with world youth silver in 2011. 
and European Youth Bronze that same year, but then took a seven-year break from the sport. Didn't return to action until 2018 because she wanted to start a family. She's now the mother of three and is back in the mix. Reigning 2019 English national champion. What a return to the pinnacle of the sport, qualifying for the Olympic Games. Really remarkable stuff, a remarkable story of Charlie Davison. She landed a, a very good left cross and followed that up a few moments later with another good shot before being caught on the return by Kara Coglu. Runs into a, quite a heavy jab there from the, the, the shot of Girl in Red. Tries Kara Coglu trying desperately to, to catch Davison with that right hook counter or corner or motion motion into her in between the rounds to try and use that right hook counter as Davidson comes in they must feel that Davidson's left hand drops a little bit low but it's a really tight affair Ron it certainly is as Kakaroglu just proffers that left elbow again before getting herself away from close that close exchange leaping in with the right jab and following in with the backhand is Kakaroglu use quick feet to close the distance there and there in this territory in her semi-final that's where Davison was really working away non-stop against the more compact Sorrentino electing not to do so there Alex no she really let her hands go against Sorrentino working really hard to the body and we thought it actually possibly nicked her that, that last round run it's a good cross there for Davison doesn't quite hit the mark but almost breaks through again Karakoglu must have a real tight grip because Davison really does love to let her hands go while she's up close. Not doing so in the clinches here in this second round. She certainly isn't. She can't afford to. There you go. That's what she wants to be doing. Throwing two and three shots in that position. One shot against Karakoglu is not enough because if you do fall short and you do perhaps overreach and your weight goes onto your front foot that little bit too much, Karakoglu will counter punch you. You can be almost guaranteed. So the action... And the pace of the action heating up. Beautiful one-two combination from Kakaroglu. Perhaps the clearest success any boxer has enjoyed through the contest so far. Overhand left from Davison and a beautiful half hook, half uppercut from the lead hand from Davison as she continues to pursue her opponent. Action really did become more intense in the closing stages of that second round. Well, Davison had certainly did have more success in that second round landing good counter one two there tiny bit busier with a double jab as well <coughs> but she did run on to some counter punches and she was caught with that check right hook on occasion as well so it's a three two split in favour of Kakaroglu Davison leading 20 points to 18 for judge five so Kakaroglu the 20 points to 18 lead for three of the judges is all square for one judge and Davison lead 2018 for judge number five. So it's Davison who rises from her stool first to begin this final round. So three minutes to go then in this gold medal bout. Both of these boxers have already qualified for Tokyo 2020. Now looking to get themselves the best possible seeding by prevailing here in the final of this European qualification event. So fainting with the feet, hands and no doubt the eyes as well is Davison. She scores with a good left cross. Good combination of punches to both body and head from the world number one wearing red or the tournament number one, ranked number two in the world. Straight shot success for Davison, as again, Kakaroglu voluntarily goes to the corner, and she undoubtedly, invariably looks to leap out of that confined position with that lead right hook. Back to the corner she goes once more. Comes forward with a right-left combination, which was a scoring salvo. Davison responded immediately. Yeah, Davison, she's just waiting a little bit too long, though, Ron. But maybe a little slip there or something. I think there's a problem with the head guard, so Kakaroglu calling for time by taking a knee, which I feel is a really risky modus operandi. Very. Because again, if anything other than the soles of your feet touch the canvas, it's a knockdown. And yeah. the referee would be fully within their rights to give you a count. Now, as we have been pointing out repeatedly, that won't necessarily result 
in a 10-8 round on the cards, but it's very risky indeed, particularly when you consider there's only four, a maximum of four eight counts committed in women's elite Olympic style boxing. Well, it's also risky if you decide to, or on your, you're on your way to taking a knee and your opponent decides to throw a shot, Ron. That, that could be a lot more risky than, than getting penalised <laughs> from the judges <laughs> or the referee. Good nice. work to body and head, right hand to the body, left hook to the head from Kakaroglu. And when she's able to create this type of space and draw her opponent in, she is very effective indeed. Southpaw left success for Davison. Twice over. This and then a good right left on the resumption from the woman in blue. Scores with a left jab, a right jab once again. Yep. This is anything but a one sided contest. It's very, very well contested. And again, Davison scoring with that right-left combination as she looks to step on the gas. Good defense with nice. the gloves and then scores with a jolting lead right hand. Really turning up the intensity against Kakaroglu. Kakaroglu holding on. And there you see Davison yeah, that's demonstrating the body punching that served her so well in the semi-final. Kakaroglu with a right-left while being put under consistent pressure by Davison. Well, Davison's starting to look good now, Ron. As she applies the pressure and lets her hands go that little bit more. It could be the case that she is too little, too late now. But this just goes to show what Davison is capable of. So she will take that with her towards Tokyo. If she's not quite to get the verdict today on points, that's something that they've learned from this contest is to start a little bit faster and put your foot on the gas a little bit earlier. So right-left combination from Kakaroglu to end the contest. Turkish corner feels that their boxer has done enough high fives as Kakaroglu returned to have her equipment removed. Very good contest indeed. Charlie Davison coming on strong in the closing stages. But remember, she trailed 20 points to 18 for three of the five scoring judges. The other judge had it even at 19 points apiece. Judge five scored both rounds in favor of Davison. So one suspects it's going to be Kakaroglu who will have a hand, hands raised as the victor at the conclusion of what was a very enthralling and competitive affair. False Wizards. With one point, I split decision. In the red corner, representing... And just look at what victory means for Busanaz Kakaroglu, the tournament number one seed, the number two ranked boxer in the world, going all the way through, winning four contests out of four to occupy top spot on the podium here at this European Olympic qualification event. She has done herself no harm at all with the seeding committee who will determine the seeds at Tokyo 2020. And what a message she has sent out to the rest of the world. No loss of form, no loss of sharpness for the 2019 World Championship silver medalist. And she comes away with championship gold here at Le Grand Dome in Paris. Well, it was a good performance and it was a very, very closely contested bout. Karakoglu never had things all her own way by any means at all. And I think that Davison and Team Great Britain will take a lot away from this contest. Charlie Davison 